Microsoft accounts at this link And then come watch Captain Falcor on Friday The 5th of April To get all these goodies See you there, pirates Hey, you beautiful buccaneers, Falcor here, so let me take you all by the hands and transport you to a new dimension. It's a place where the ships are made from UFO, metal and fire, fallen guns from our crutches. Uh, um, uh, yes, indeedy, I'm talking about the time of Season 14, where a new update is coming dubbed Pirates of Mischief. This update was showcased, or should I say, glazed over in the 2024 preview. First and foremost, and most controversially, the Harpoon Gun. The Harpoon Gun is intended to be the first control-based weapon. This means it'll be the first handheld weapon in Sea of Thieves that doesn't dish out any damage. Instead, it's used to traverse the terrain at great speeds. Yoink treasure out of the hands of other pirates, get a simple board on a vessel as you're swimming through the water, or latch onto the surface of a ship as you're flying through the air. Now, obviously, this is a very early rendition of this weapon. I mean, it's literally a sailor sniper with a harpoon tagged onto the end, but it'll obviously come with a massive overhaul on balance. What we know so far is, it'll have four harpoons to fire before you have to reload, and the accuracy is dependent on the person firing it. Unlike the ship harpoons that have a lock-on system in place for swiping any loot near its range. At least that's what's supposed to happen. But as overpowered as this looks, keep in mind it's very early days, and the abilities this weapon has may be toned down in the future. As a little bit of feedback, I would suggest there are only certain points on a ship that the harpoon gun can attach to, which turns the boarding mechanic into more of a skill gap, and also allows the crew to defend these locations. But speaking of defense, traps! Now, obviously this is not the actual picture of a trap, as there has been no media showcasing these, but traps will also be coming to Sea of Thieves in Season 14, allowing players to trap victims or cause damage in the player's chosen spot. So for example, you could set traps at the base of ladders to stop boarders, or place traps near or around loot piles to stop thieving in a game about thievery. This, in conjunction with the harpoon gun, starts to make more sense, with a weapon that increases maneuverability, having traps is the counter, allowing the players to stop a board before it ever happens. I can think of so many ways these traps will work, not just for PvP, but for PvE also, and I cannot wait to see how they flesh out the combat in-game. Another control slash damage weapon that was mentioned was the dart gun. Again, not an actual image of the actual dart gun, this is just a badly photoshopped pistol, but the dart gun will allow players to fire poisonous darts at players or items to create a plume of poison on impact, but it'll also have many types of ammo, some of which will give the player the ability to set up audible traps for the players. Think of it as a troll weapon, firing a dart in a certain location and then being able to activate a sound, such as footsteps, the sound of someone splashing through water, or a voice line that just merely says, hey, over here. Things like that. The dart gun's intended purpose is to throw the enemy crew off and allow you to board or distract the enemy from seeing you, allowing you to stealth to certain locations. Speaking of stealth, it's been a long time coming, but finally, finally, the developers have realized that players love to tuck and sneak around the ship. For those unaware of the term tucking, it is a term coined by the player base where you use a hiding emote when you have snuck on board a vessel and wait for the perfect moment to strike in battle or sneak loot off of a ship. And finally, this system is being updated to actually be part of the mechanics. A new crouch system is being added with stealth mechanics so we can sneak around the ship or an island and not be seen. It's not confirmed yet whether or not we'll be able to use this functionality with NPC spawn 
spawns too, but I really hope this will be a thing. Not only that, but they're also adding a mechanic to allow us as players to climb into chests and hide, and then be picked up by an unaware player who just thinks it's a normal chest, and then placed on board the ship among their other loot. Think of it as the cardboard boxes from Metal Gear Solid, giving the player the ability to shuffle around as a treasure chest, hiding from other players. The perfect set of tools for sabotage. And this is by far one of the best set of features this game will ever have. This season coined Pirates of Mischief will also come with a whole other host of silly features that'll really expand on the sandbox within Sea of Thieves. I've always said it's never the huge things that make the biggest impact in this game, such as the Burning Blade coming in Season 13, but the smaller things, such as much of what's being talked about in this video, which completely change the entire mechanic of the playstyle. Although it's a long way off yet, this will still all be coming in 2024, along with a whole bunch of other stuff that I cannot wait to tell you all about. So if you haven't already, please remember to hit that subscribe button for more info as it comes in. Also a quick shout out to my Patreons, thank you all so much for your support. For those interested in joining, please follow the link at the end of the video. But until next time everyone, stay safe and happy sailing. Microsoft accounts at this link and then come watch Captain Falcor on Friday, the 5th of April, to get all these goodies. See you there, pirates.